Hey everyone, this is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com. Today we're going to check out a new device on Verizon Wireless. It's a rugged phone. It meets a host of military specifications uh, for dust, um, shock absorption, salt fog. Basically a phone you can really just beat up on um, should you be in, a, in an outdoor environment. Uh, it's called the Casio G's One Ravine. We'll go through an unboxing and a feature tour of the device and uh, I'll tell you more about it. Okay, here we are with the box here. Uh, we'll go through it quickly and then we'll get the phone powered up and show you how it works. You can see it's a clamshell phone. Move around the box real quick. Let's open it up and check it out. Alright, here's the ravine itself. You can see it's got this external display here. This lights up, uh, glows sort of a white color. Um, and there's a charging light that goes on, I believe that's it right here, uh, while the phone is charging. And going around, you can see it's got these rugged uh, you know compartments here so three three and a half millimeter headphone jack uh, push to talk button volume keys and then a it looks like a voice command button down here on the bottom or a speaker phone back of the phone here it's got this nice uh, honeycomb kind of ridge you'll see that carries over a bit into the keyboard too get your uh, 3.1 megapixel camera it's got a LED flash and here you can see we'll pop open the battery cover for you See here, it's got a 1,140 milliamp hour battery. You can see it had this lock uh, as well. Let's try to pop this back on. So squeeze it in and then lock it. That's for the waterproofing and the uh, the resistance. Here we have the micro USB charging port, and uh, this looks like the charger option for a dock. Uh, I believe the Brigade came with one, or it was an option. Uh, this didn't come with one, as you'll see in a second, but it looks like it'll work with it. Pop open the phone itself here. See, so you've got that honeycomb sort of look carries over to the keyboard. Got a quick launch for the camera, the two soft key buttons up top, uh, omnidirectional pad, and then this little button here, which doubles as a light, uh, so a flashlight, or uh, turns it into speakerphone mode. Looking up at the screen, you can see uh, we need to program the device. We'll, we'll do that in just a sec before we do a walkthrough. And uh, you've got the basic menu options here. So rather basic phone, uh, but we'll go through the features in just a sec. Let's take a look at what else is in the box here. Here you have the uh, wall charger. It has the USB port there uh, so that you can take the cable uh, if it's attached to your computer and then decide to charge it. That comes in the box. Also have Tips, hints, and shortcuts included in the box. Some uh, consumer information. All right, let's uh, power up the phone. Uh, we'll activate it and go through some of the features for you. All right, everyone, let's uh, start going through the phone's features. Uh, outside display here, you've got a 1.35 inch. It's 96 by 96 uh, pixel resolution. Uh, it has a white backlight there, and it's a mono screen. You can see it's just black and white. Go inside the phone. You have the 1.35 inch screen and that has a better uh, 320 by 240 a resolution, 65,000 colors. Uh, not incredibly impressive, but uh, as you know, it's a feature phone, clamshell, so you're not getting uh, top of the line screens here, but it, it does its job well. Now let's go through some of the features now. Actually, here's the uh, main menu. You can see it's got Bing search uh, set up, messaging, recent calls, my pictures, media center, that's where the browser is as well, contacts. VZ Navigator, Bluetooth, and Settings and Tools. Go through messaging real quick since I was just doing this. I'll show you. Here we have a, uh, it's threaded text messaging, so we've done a test already. One came through. Here's a reply coming in. So it gives you just a little brief uh, part of that message, and we can say uh, a message back. So pretty good text messaging interface there. Uh, I like the threaded view. Other features um, that I really like on this phone, it's called the G's gear. Now you access that, it's actually sort of hidden. But if you see on this clear button, there's a little compass looking thing. If you hold it for a few minutes, or seconds rather, hold it for a few seconds, it launches this uh, application not just Astro Calendar. We'll back out of this in just a second by hitting home. Here you can see we have Earth Compass, a walking counter, a thermometer, tides, sunrise and sunset, an Astro Calendar, 
Stargazer set up and how to use. Now these are perfect for you know outdoor individuals that might take this phone on a hiking trip uh, or elsewhere. So we'll launch the compass. I calibrated this earlier. It takes just a few seconds waving around in a figure eight. You can see that uh, as I turn it, we're getting different readings here. So you can use the device uh, as a compass uh, if you're out in the wilderness. Walking counter is a pedometer, I believe. It'll tell you how far you've traveled. So here you can see, uh, based on the date here, it shows how many miles were walked. And on the bottom of the screen there you can see it says uh, 1.8 miles, how many calories were burned, and how many steps were taken. That would be cool on a hiking trail. Thermometer here. See, it says it's 83 degrees here. Seems a little warm for me. I'm wearing a jacket inside my apartment, but uh, I don't have my own thermometer, so we'll take its word for it now. Tide chart, people going to the beach. This will leverage the GPS and actually show us the nearest beach here. So that's Long Beach, New York. It's about an hour train ride outside the city. See, it says 2 hours and 17 minutes until low tide. So great for surfers uh, looking to catch a, a, a low tide. Sunrise, sunset. This will just tell us when sun is uh, rising or setting. You can see we have 11 hours and 27 minutes left of daylight today. Astro calendar. This will tell us the uh, lunar phases. You can see where the moon is. Uh, new moon in zero days. So it looks like full moon in 13 days. Stargazer, this will show you a map of the sky. Uh, it does leverage your GPS, but it's not like the, uh, doesn't appear to be like the Apple, uh, iOS, or Android apps where you can sort of point it at the sky. Here you can see I'm navigating with uh, the uh, nav pad here. But you can get a general idea of the constellations. It'll bring it up if you highlight it, tell you the major stars there. Pretty cool application, especially if you're uh, taking kids out for some stargazing. And then the setup and how to use, which is, uh, as you can see, pretty easy. Go back in the main menu here. Here's Bing Search. So we'll search, uh, I don't know, baseball. See, it's got location on, so I guess we could search a restaurant too, but you have a Wikipedia entry, official site for MLB, and more. So, quick results. Let's try if we search up pizza. Maybe we can get something nearby. There's a pizza store right below me. If I could clear that. Doesn't seem like it wants to clear. Here we go. All right, so you've got uh, some nearby pizza places. These are indeed nearby. Pretty neat, leverages the GPS there. Whoop, keep hitting the calendar. 3.2 pic uh, megapixel camera, I might have said 3.1 earlier. Uh, to get some pictures here, take it rafting. Looks like somebody's already used this phone on a trip, so kind of neat. Take advantage of those waterproof features. Uh, VZ Navigator comes on board. VZ Navigator, a powerful. Uh, not installed, but you'll have to install it yourself. It's $9.99 a month. You can also uh, purchase daily passes if you want. Check out contacts. Here you can add. If you add a new contact, the name, mobile number, home, business, email, screen name, picture, and more. Also, push to talk contacts. So using the, uh, the side push to talk button that I showed you earlier. Going to the media center here. It does support uh, VCast Music with Rhapsody if you wanted to do an account. Um, I believe it's $12.99 a month for Rhapsody. And uh, you can fill the phone up with your own tunes. I've already downloaded a song quickly, so we'll 
Let's see what it sounds like. Pretty impressive audio coming out of the phone right now. So John Lennon there. So you can also go through the store there and buy new ones. We'll show you that real quick. You can go to what's new. Uh, here you have some of the top tracks there. Download the songs that are $1.99 each and go rather quickly. If you look at the web browser for you here. Kind of a pain that you have to type in, go to, or hit the option to go to URL. It's going to load another web page. We'll go to Mobile Burn now. Guess on the period here. You can see we have pretty decent 3G coverage here. It's uh, three bars, so. Not the uh, best web browser performance here. It's actually pretty terrible. Let's try a we'll go to a mobile site. Okay, so it loaded the mobile CNN site pretty quickly here. Pictures still have yet to come through. Uh, pretty weak web browser though, but it'll do the trick if you're uh, if you need to grab some headlines real quick while you're out in the wild or on the uh, on a construction site or something. All right, now this phone does meet uh, blowing rain, shock, sand, uh, dust, vibration, salt fog, humidity, solar radiation, low pressure, high temperature and low temperature uh, ratings. It's also fairly waterproof um, given that blowing rain rating. It's uh, mill standard 810G. So let's, uh, let's put it through some paces here and see how it holds up uh, underwater. Okay, here we are with a bowl of water and we have the ravine. We'll just uh, toss it in there. Got a little bit on the carpet, no big deal. You can see it's just hanging out in the water. Bring it up here. You know, no issues. The speaker on. We call test. Here you are. We'll put the phone in the water while it dials. So, there it is calling. See the phone's still going there, probably ringing at our test phone. Seems to have no issues. Kind of neat little bar trick sort of you know drop it in your glass at the dinner table uh, but otherwise good for like I was saying maybe rafting where your phone might get wet uh, taking on the beach keyboard works perfectly well it looks like it's glove friendly too uh, the keys are big and spacious so you can tap away on it also resists drops uh, not gonna do much on the carpet here but should stand up uh, I believe it a couple meters two meters maybe so can take a beating Pretty neat device. This is the Ravine. It's on Verizon Wireless. $149.99 right now. It's uh, after a $50 mail-in rebate and with a new two-year Verizon contract. This is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com.